what is going on guys Alex is RT life here this is going to be a review after about three months of my 4k mirror dash cam installed and I have had zero issues with this thing absolutely love it definitely worth purchasing now this has multiple viewing angles this has the front cam if you swipe over it'll show your rear cam and if you swipe it again it shows both cameras um, your front cam is in 4k stand by default and then your second cam is in 2k your rear cam that's in 2k now when you swipe over you have front ordinary you have you have front urgent you have front ordinary rear urgent rear ordinary and you got your front photo rear photo so basically the urgent is for if you come out and notice your vehicle has damage first thing you want to do is uh go to your dash cam go into your urgent and it will have stored any impact or any collision or or anything that it recorded from your dash cam so you can go in there in your urgent front or urgent rear and check and see what went on if you uh notice your vehicle has some damage on there or whatever so that's nice and convenient you got your front ordinary that's just your regular continuous loop and your rear ordinary that's your regular continuous loop but again your front urgent and your rear urgent is for impacts or it definitely picked up some some sort of uh vibration maybe uh it picked up some sound or something and it start recording and it stores it in the dash cam and then uh, you can also take your SD card out, put it in your computer and check it that way. So it has uh, multiple ways of viewing stored footage. So to get out of here, oh, also um, you can take photos with this. Um, I don't I don't need it to take photos, but but you can take front and video front and rear photos if you need to. Now, I've read about people having issues with these rubber straps that hold the dash cam to the, your OEM camera. And if I can get a better angle to show you uh, these straps here, those rubber straps, I haven't had any issues with them. They hold pretty well. As you can see, they're adjustable. You can adjust them to the tightness as far as those little brackets there. Um, I haven't had any issues. This thing doesn't move around they hold it pretty nice and snug it's never been out of place when i've uh, went to look at it or anything these things actually hold it together pretty well i haven't had any issues now we go to our rear camera a nice feature about this is you can adjust the angles within this you can adjust the brightness by tapping and holding on the right side and just scrolling up and down that's the brightness so to change the angle, you hold on the left side and just move it with your finger up and down. And also, you can adjust the rear view camera angle by just kind of moving it. I'll, be, I'll go back and show you. Um, you can adjust it as well. So that way, if, uh, if a car is behind you, car comes up behind you at night, let's say, and their headlights are just blinding you. You know, you got some bright LED headlights. You can go in here and just change the viewing angle so that the headlights aren't shining right in the right in your camera. And you can also adjust it in the back as well, which I'll go show you now. You can adjust the viewing angle here just by tilting it up and down. And you definitely want to at first I had double sided tape holding it up. But I went ahead and put two screws up in there, as you can see, two small screws. And then you want to make sure these, these screws on the sides are very, very nice and snug. Otherwise, it'll move up and down due to vibration. But uh, this thing, I haven't had any issues whatsoever from it. Absolutely pleased with it.
I have linked in the in the description of the original dash cam video the wiring kit and the dash cam in there so go back and check out that video if you're interested in purchasing one so uh, that's going to wrap up this video guys i'm going to end this video here make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video subscribe to the channel give it a thumbs up alex's rt live signing off